mentioned you, you had struggled with mental health since you were mm -hmm. really young. I would mm -hmm. say the longer I'm in the industry and the more people I talk to, the more it just seems the norm, really. Like, I, I'm not exaggerating when I say probably more than half of the women I know have mm -hmm. some level of anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. Do you think that being in fitness and getting that involved has helped it due to, let's say, looking better and more confidence or hurt it mm -hmm. due to more comparisons and focus on it? I would probably say this is like a situation of like the chicken or the egg. And if you were to ask me personally, I think a lot of it probably started with them or an individual having some underlying uh, body confidence issues, uh, you know, poor self image or low confidence. Or if, again, if I'm being really honest, I think majority of the dietitians, the people that were going to complete their masters, half of them were there because I, and you can like, you've had conversations and you can also look at someone and go, wow, you know, I feel really like horrible. How can I help this person? She's anorexic. Yeah. And like, you know, and understand that struggle. Um, so I think from a bodybuilding standpoint, it doesn't cause, I do not think it causes these uh, conditions. Um, it attracts a lot of those kind of, um, you know, mental health problems and if you aren't also proactive about seeking out professional help with kind of breaking that mental health issue down and kind of getting to the roots of that problem, um, it can worsen um, if you are in that industry. And I am very transparent in you know, my journey uh, through bodybuilding. And yeah, it was definitely a way to kind of control my physique, control how I ate. Uh, and it was like, Okay, but it's and it's accepted too. Like, you yeah, know, no right. one can question me now why I'm not doing this or why I'm avoiding that or why I'm over exercising. It like justifies my decisions to, to be lean. And I think I really wish, like, had I gone back to like the young version of myself, that I had focused more on the mental health side of things than the physical output. Because, and I think everybody's like this to some extent, um, more than others, but when it comes to making a decision, if we've got two decisions or two options in front of us, most of us are going to take the easier option, right? Um, you know, if, if you don't have to do hard work, like, why would you? So for me, again, thinking about like that athletic background, the easier route was honestly the brutal kind of, you know, hardcore training approach. Like, yeah, it's it's tough. Yeah, I have to do all this work. And this is also like pre-bodybuilding. Right. Like I would go out for a run with this friend in the morning and do 5Ks. And then someone else would be like, hey, you want to come do boot camp? Sure. And then, hey, do you want to come for a walk? Sure. So I always knew and could count on myself from a physical, like endurance, you know, stamina perspective. But I don't think I had the tools to cope with the psychological problems that were going on in my life. And when you when you don't have strong mentors or, you know, like people that can guide you in the right direction, I think things would have been a whole lot different for me. And I truly, truly wish, and this is why I'm so um, passionate about it now, um, is to spend as much time on your physical um, body um, for health reasons as your mental health. And I do see it becoming more and more accepted like, you know, yeah. mental health awareness week, uh, we've got more people kind of talking very openly about their struggles with depression, suicide, anxiety, like OCD. So um, I really hope that, you know, we can kind of move the industry and it's going to take a, an industry effort to recognize the benefits of being a healthy body physically. But, you know, health is not just the body, it's also your mind. And yeah. some of the most fit incredible bodies that I've seen or people that have come to me to work for me or under me um, have also had the worst mental health uh, and suffering I've ever come across, but yeah. you'd never know. So, yeah. Yeah, it, wow. it is. It, it fascinates me more and more because I'll hear the statistics that are out there on how many people have these depressive thoughts or have even, you know, tried to kill themselves or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and, I mean, and, and it does seem more open now. Like I had a patient recently who is like was an enhanced competitor and I was surprised that he was so open to telling me that he was enhanced and that he was really depressed and that he was seeing a therapist. Like this was like a, you know, 40 year old guy, not like a macho type, but just you wouldn't have expected that maybe 10 years ago to some, like a 40 year old guy just be like, yeah, I was enhanced. Yeah. I was depressed. 
Um, mm-hmm. and, and I do see that more and more. And you'd see it on like anonymous forums before, but now, like you said, people are talking about it on social media where their face is out there and, and all their pictures yeah. and everything. So Yeah, I almost think like that needs to happen though um, because it was so, um, I guess, I don't want to use like the word discriminated against, but there was probably a lot of stigma and, um, you know, taboo around mental health. Like you wouldn't ever admit that you've got a problem or that you're not coping or something's really hard. Um, I guess most of us want to have the strong exterior, the, you know, powerful, I'm in control, I've got my shit together. Um, but And that's all, again, it's kind of built up from societal um, norms and the pressure that we create for ourselves. So we kind of almost have to go back the other way where now we start to promote like, hey, it's okay to be weak or actually that's totally not what I meant to say. Mm-hmm. It's, o- it's okay to have, um, you know, weaknesses or it's okay to, you know, fail and make mistakes. Like these are all normal, but I think people want you to have, and it is in our, you know, like now nature to be accepted and for people to like us and what do we do? We want to show them all the good stuff about us. Like you don't want to dare share like your deep, dark secrets because that would make you, you know, um, a weakness or it might make someone not like you because all oh, this person hasn't got their shit together. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I think, I think the, the more we talk about it and especially people that do have a platform, I think need to be open about it because it's probably saving a lot of lives. 